YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer and this is Witches of the Moon and I am Sunday's host. I am in the car on my way home and I wanted to go ahead and get this recorded so I could just have it ready to post. So, um, this week's topic was coven or no coven and I think if it affects your progress, if I'm not mistaking, that is what it's about. And I know I'm always saying if I'm not mistaking, but pretty sure that's what I read on the page. I watched Bead's video today and I am pretty sure that that is what we're talking about so um my opinion on covens have sh has changed quite a bit in the last couple of months i have to say i was pretty much totally against it for myself because of some experiences that i've had and i've always been such a solitary witch even with the family oh you know always practicing i'm on my way home here to bum 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 we call those city titties <laughs> anyways um you know, with the experiences and stuff. We've always just been solitary, you know? We just kind of do our thing. And occasionally we would do stuff together, you know? But nothing like coven type magic. And I don't believe it's hindered me at all. I really don't. I'm not as against it as I used to be, okay? I feel that if it came across and I met a group of people that I got along with and if the high priestess wasn't big headed to where um, she wanted to be worshipped because I won't worship a high priestess it just won't happen and my experience with this self proclaimed high priestess um, she kind of wanted to be worshipped so we're not going to get into that but you know that's where the experience got bad and I had met a few other high priestesses who were real big headed but recently I have met some who are freaking awesome and half the time you don't even know they're high priestesses and that is what I call awesome okay and I mean I have respect for people who have practiced and learned and and you know all that goodness okay I have the utmost respect for them so um where was I going with this yes I think that it's actually a good thing if you get into the right coven as far as um learning uh, there's a kinship to it there is a not feeling so lonely I can't say that if I joined um, a coven I can't say I would be there to practice with them every time but I do go up to the fellowship which is not a coven to do ritual like for llamas and full moons I don't do every full moon with them I don't do every um, I don't do every moon with them I, I don't but for some of the bigger ones I do because the energy is a lot nicer when you have a lot of you together doing it so it's awesome so I think there's a lot you can get from being in a coven but I also think there's a lot you can get from being solitary so my opinions of it are kind of both ways it depends on you uh, I think everybody should experience practicing with other people as well as practicing alone it, there's a lot that comes with it Practicing alone also helps expand your mind more, makes you have to think, makes you have to figure out stuff for yourself, you know, makes you have to use your own magic, you know what I mean, and come up with your own types of spells and just do your own thing and, and becoming a witch or being a witch or just being a stronger person, which would, you know, any of that it comes with learning to do stuff on your own, walking your own path. But also being in a coven is a good experience to have because of the energy flow holy shit the energy flow let me tell you so I'm kind of both ways I think you should experience both you know and hopefully you won't have a bad experience like I did at first and, and kind of push you away for a while until you actually figure it out that hey not everybody is the same way you know it's just you know it's just one of those things that happen my bracelet's falling off okay this is one of those things that happened for me and it kind of sucks that it did but as I've said on my channel I'm learning and I'm changing and my path is going to continue changing. My path is nowhere near being a straight path. Like right now I'm going across curves and it looks like this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That's my path. I mean I know I'm a witch and I know my opinions are going to change as I learn and grow. It, because I'm changing. The world is forever changing. If you think you're going to be stuck in the same spot forever, you're wrong. It, it just doesn't work that way. So, um, yeah, for my opinion now, I think that everybody should experience a little bit of both. And if you don't want to join a coven, you know, uh, find a couple of circles that you can just go to and interact with other pagans, other witches, other Wiccans, just so you can get the energy, just to feel what it's like to practice with someone else 
and I took my hand off the steering wheel because I'm Italian and my hands are going like this like I gotta talk with my hands but um yeah that's that's how I feel about it right now I think that everybody should experience both worlds not necessarily join a coven but at least practice with other witches at one point or another just so you can see what it's like to practice with another um, person that's like in mind so that is it that's all I have to say hope I made some sense to you and um, yeah if you have any questions please leave them down below I can't I'm turning a curve because my path is changing <laughs> um, but leave the comments down there <laughs> and I will answer them as soon as I can Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see y'all next week. As always, blessed be. Bye.